Hey friend, Roger Christopherson here again with another First Listener Review. Um, you probably heard me talking a lot about uh, Frontiers and uh, that label. And uh, they released a few albums this week, uh, and I got every single one of them. So uh, this one is just... I had to get it. I just had to get it. It's the uh, <laughs> rock tribute to Michael Bolton called Steel Bars. Um, now, you know, a lot of people when they hear Michael Bolton, they think, you know, cheesy, you know, love songs and, uh, you know, their woman just fawning over him and, you know, the pop songs and stuff like that. But the funny part is, he had a rock band, actually a pretty heavy rock band, early on in his career. Uh, called Blackjack, who had, uh, <clears throat> Bruce Kulick was the guitar player in that, who went on to join KISS, and he's done some other stuff. They had a band with John Karabi called The Union, or just Union, and, uh, you know, he's done some heavy stuff. Um, that's Bruce Kulick, that is. And uh, Michael Bolton, uh, they had some, he was a rock singer. I remember buying that album when I was a kid, didn't know anything about it. I just remember seeing the album cover, like, in a, I think it was in a cutout bin, actually. And uh, just I'm like, that's a cool album cover. I looked at the back, long haired dudes on it, didn't know who they were. You know, I'm, I'm talking like early on, like mid 80s, and I was just buying everything I could back then. <clears throat> Took it home and listened to it, and uh, really, really dug that album. And it wasn't so later on. He actually spelled his name different then. It was like Boloton on that album. And uh, so obviously, he changed the spelling of his name when he became popular. And uh, uh, it's just kind of funny that uh, later on, actually, they had two albums, which I didn't know about until later on, and I found that they actually had released uh, another album under that name, Blackjack. They're, they're worth checking out if you like Bruce Kulick and like Michael Bolton's voice. They're, that's a cool, unique uh, thing you should guys should check out. But anyway, <clears throat> this stuff focused more on his uh, pop stuff, redone rock, and it works very well. It was, this was a really fun album. It's got... A lot of singing on it from people, and if you're not familiar with uh, the Frontiers label and uh, the stuff they release, you probably won't know some of these people, <clears throat> um, but um, it's worth checking out to get you, if it's fun listening to the Michael Bolton stuff, just because they actually, when you hear them rock, like, those are actually pretty cool songs, but then you get to hear what these other people sound like, and maybe make up your mind if you wanted to go check out their you know, bands or other stuff they've been involved with. <clears throat> but uh, first song, Everybody's Crazy, has got Gearish Pradehan on it. Um, he's got a band out called Gearish and the Chronicles. Uh, it's a pretty cool band. I've got a bunch of their CDs, and you know, he's got this uh, really wild voice. It's really melodic, but it's kind of wild, and their stuff is really high energy rock, and they do a really good job on this song here, too. And Fool's Game with Steve Overland singing on it. If you don't know who Steve Overland is, you gotta check him out. He's got a bunch, he's got the solo stuff, um, FM, um, he's done some stuff with other people on, you know, in the hard rock vein. Uh, the former guitar player from uh, Fate's Warning there, I can't think of the name of the project now, but they uh, had an album together, it was really good. Uh, and we had How Can We Be Lovers with Dave Mikulski's on that one. Um, he did a killer job on this one too. Uh, Steel Bars with a uh, so, Soshan Kiken. All these names are very Norwegian, which you think I would pronounce well because I'm actually kind of European myself, but uh, no, not so much. So, <laughs> two really good songs. It's a funny hearing those songs uh, played with a really rock, you know, rock vein to it. Uh, and then we got Wait on Love with Anna Nikolovic and Navina Brankovic. And I've actually did a review on. Uh, Navina there, which is a really good album. You should check that one out. This was a cool song. They're all good songs. I keep saying that, but every single one of these was really fun and really good. Actually, they, they're they just good. I nothing else to really say except they're good. Uh, and then you got uh, Can't Turn Off with Guy Oliver singing on that one. Save Our Love's got Santiago Romanda on that one. And then Gina with Robbie LeBlanc. And the Robbie LeBlanc has been around for quite a long time with his band um, Blank Faces, I think was the name of it. Uh, they got a he, and been involved with some other stuff too, but that band was really cool. Uh, then we got Call My Name with Stefan Nikvist on it, and then of and, which I'm not too familiar with him, but uh, or yeah, him. And uh, the next one on here is uh, of course 
you can't have a Frontiers project without Ronnie Romero singing on it, I don't think. I think that's in their rules that you have to have Ronnie Romero singing on stuff. So, <laughs> joking of course, but uh, if you know Ronnie Romero, you know he sings on a lot of stuff. But uh, another great song, and then it ends with Desperate Heart with James Robolito, Robolito on it. And, uh, you know, these are all guys from the Frontiers projects and bands and stuff. So um, I'm not going to go through every single band that they were in. I'm trying to keep these a little bit shorter today, but um, they're worth checking out. Head over to their website, and they got, they've got always got cool stuff. I'm not, I don't work for Frontiers. I don't have any, I'm not like sponsored by them or anything like that, but I just have found that I'm never going to be let down with much of anything from that album. Like I said, it's always a degree of how much I'm going to like it, but I know I'm always going to like it. So anyway, feel free to like, comment on this one. I'm, you know, bust my balls on it, whatever you want to do. I actually really enjoyed this CD. So anyway, uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll talk to you on the next one. See you.